So there's a big uptick in violence, and these all these people voted for Obama. And, I mean, part of me is like, yeah, there you go. Bloomberg, too. He brought yeah. up Bloomberg, pal. Yeah, right. yeah. Bloomberg's as bad as far as a, a big city, the rules he's putting in, and he's supposed to be what? He's really an independent. Yeah. He yeah. flies under the Republican yeah. banner? Yeah, Are you right. kidding? Yeah. That's right. He flies under the Republican banner. He yeah. bagged a Democrat. See, it's, the, it's, it's how they, the hypocrisy uh -huh. of the machine. How did you... Uh, uh, Ron Emanuel called Bloomberg up. They're all friends. They all sit in the... They're, they're the one percent that the 99 percent was talking about. But if you notice, none of the 99 percent protested them. How did you didn't see them? Well, and they all love Apple. They all love the iPhone people with and, the, and little little babies being exploited. The suicide rate. They have to put nets outside the factories where they make this stuff. But don't tell the hipsters about their uh, you know their iPhones. Don't no. They're they're fine. I'm leaving today. These women are addicted to this. I want to be Coming up, uh, lost footage of me talking to a dead man. And I'll tell you, it was weird. I was going through the archives here. I started to say this. You know, we have a lot of media here. And Look at this. Something says man cow on it. Blew, blew the dust off and we brought in. I cannot believe what it is. I have no memory of it at nice. all. It's me hanging out with The Rock uh, before he was The Rock. Did he smell something cooking? Oh, yeah. Pancakes. Because you know why? Everybody loves pancakes. <laughs> Who and everybody loved The Rock. Oh. So, um... You know, the, the, the government says if you um, if you're a Christian or a returning war vet, Top of the heap. you're a terrorist. You, you're dangerous. You know, if, if someone sneezes and you say, God bless you, you may be a terrorist. When you see someone that's having a tough time and you say, well, well, bless their heart, you might be a terrorist. If you know that Jeremiah was a prophet out of the Bible and not a bullfrog, <laughs> you might be a terrorist. How about if you say Gesundheit? Are you German? If you watched the Bible miniseries on uh, Discovery Channel or on uh, History Channel and you thought it kicked ass, you probably are a terrorist to Obama and Janet Napolitano. Uh, if you think it's ungodly to put women in black burlap sacks and send them out in the desert and not let them drive cars or bikes... If you think it's uh, if you think it's ungodly to abuse women and children, you think it's ungodly to fly planes into skyscrapers and kill a bunch of innocent people, you might be a terrorist. If you believe in the Constitution, you might be a terrorist. If you think it's a bunch of BS that today Obama's paying 18 percent, well, you're paying whatever you're paying, you might be a terrorist. If you think your kids should have security just like the first family, you might be a terrorist. If you think Billy Graham is a great man, you might be a terrorist. If you celebrate Thanksgiving, Easter, and Christmas, well, you might be a terrorist. Unbelievable, isn't it? A woman called 911 over the weekend. It's always in Florida. These stories are always in Florida. Or Colorado now. A woman called 911. These people are harassing me. The cops went over. You know why they're harassing her? Why? She was shoplifting. I hate when that happens. Yeah. Yeah. Don't you hate when you're caught shoplifting and they start bothering you? I I write about this in, in my book. And um, it was one of the bizarre moments of my life. It was all Japanese tourists. And I'm a fan of I'm a fan of Japan. Were you at Water Tower? And I oh. was uh, I was in Amsterdam, and I was uh, you know I was doing what you do in Amsterdam, not prostitutes, but you know, but I was, I, my edge was removed. Put it that way. Mm -hmm. You people know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Rolling numbers, dropping bombs. Maybe you can figure it out. It's legal there. And I'm standing there, and there's all these uh, Japanese. And I love Japan. I go to Japan twice a year. Anyway, but I'm in Amsterdam, and I'm in this line, and it's not moving. And what is going on? And I'm waiting, and these everybody and they're talking, and it's all it's it's. A thousand, it goes around the block, a thousand Japanese people. And I'm like, what is going on? And I look up and there's a sign at the Anne Frank house and it says, uh, closed for remodeling. And I just thought that was one of the most bizarre, like, how do you remodel Anne Frank's house? You're going to put it in an how elevator? Do you, how do you, are you going to remodel Graceland? I, I, so, so Justin Bieber went there. You, have you heard this story yet? I heard yeah. something about it, yeah. Um, this yeah, guy's yeah. really, uh, you know. Oh, he's, uh, he's out of control. He's really uh, a jag. Mm -hmm. He's really a little I mean, he really is uh, a little anal. And this, I didn't think this, he was. I didn't think he was going to be. He's really turned into a, a just a jerk. Mess. So he wrote in the in the book at this historic site, if you don't know who Anne Frank is, I'll tell you later, uh, Trixie. 
I played Anne Frank. Okay. Well, I I I played the father, and uh, and the theater got burned down opening night by neo Nazis. Oh my Get gosh! Out of here. No, it's true. All that work, and we never got to do the show. So anyway, oh, what a big nightstick he has. Okay. <laughs> so so I uh, there's cops here because I've been loud today. Anyway, where was I? Anne Frank. You're talking yeah. about Anne Frank yeah, and no, Bieber. I, so, so Bieber signs in the book. He signs in the guest book. If Anne Frank was alive, she'd be a believer. Wah, yeah. Wah. Wah, wah, wah. You, you insipid little putts. Yep. You That's what he took away pets. from visiting that house. Yeah. That is what it was evoked. Yeah, he thinks Anne Frank would have been... Uh, she would have been a fan. Yeah, would have been a mm. fan. Yeah. yeah. Baby, baby. Had it not been for the whole, you know, being killed in a concentration camp. Yeah. Why do we never hear about that in any, you know, great the great Germans, the great Russians, the great Japanese, the great, you know, uh, why why didn't we hear that during World War One or two? Well, the Germans, they're just, they just think differently than us. I've never seen anything like it. No, no, they're abusing people. We got to go in. They're a different culture. We got to go in. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, a, 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 a group that... that abuses women, rapes children, it's rampant in their society, mm -hmm. uh, uh, kills, just kills homosexuals. I mean, that's why the head of Iran was like, <laughs> we don't have any homosexuals, we kill them. Right, there's none but, left. But, but the loony left, no, no, they're just, leave them alone. But here, everything we stand for, freedom, respect women, love, 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 forgiveness, that's evil. Absolutely. I can't wrap my mind around the insanity of it all. Did you just sneeze? I said, God bless you, I might be a terrorist. I might be a terrorist, you know? If you pray for your enemies, you might be a terrorist. Unbelievable. What's the number one TV theme of all time? We'll tell you, these cops here, I may come back on in a few minutes uh, covered with blood, and this rare footage I found of me hanging out with uh, with The Rock before he was The Rock and, and Stone Cold and all these people. No, like the Rock when, when, they were, when they were just kids, I was but a fetus, and uh, there's also a guy in there that, uh, that died tragically. Mm. And it kind of breaks my heart. I remember hanging out with him. And also, uh, Paul McKinley is here. Paul, you want to say something? you got 30 seconds. Anything you want to add? Well, I, I, I'm, time's up. Okay. <laughs> Man cow. We'll be right back. Man cow. On the Free Speech Radio Network.